last day here um just wanted to run through the painting calculator that we put together for you um so we start with walls so um just uh pick the walls that we want to uh that we want to paint so wall one say for instance it's three meters long and it's three meters high and we're in a completely square room so we we'll say okay so we've got 36 square meters of paint to do um so we have one window in there so the windows say uh, two meters long and one meter wide the door we want a door as well so two meters long and one meters wide so we'll take that out um, and then we will uh, pretend that there is an opening as well again just set a door um, and then so our rebets for the windows um let's say that they are 100 mil and um, let's say the doors is um, is zero because they're flush um, but then opening has 0.2 okay so we've got 31.6 square meters we have around 10 percent waste as well okay so we've got th just under 35 square meters um to paint okay basically so we this is just on a general plaster wall so you'd have a, a primer coat um, a second coat and a third coat okay so what you need to do is look at how many square meters um each liter does of paint so we go what you do then is you go to um so i've just gone on here and found um do that's prep coat 10 liters um 143 dollars um and then i've there's no um Paint coverage on this one. So what I've done is I've just gone to the website and found the same stuff here. So 12 square meters per liter. Okay, so we go back to this. Okay, so it's 12. Okay, we're buying it in 10 liter tins. And it was 143, I think it was. Yeah, 143 okay so then we go to the next one so i just picked this um so this is a dulux wash and wear uh, 214 and this one does 16 square meters a liter so first coat is 16 second coat is 16 both both from tens and 214 214 Okay, so what I'm actually going to do just in this example here is I'm going to say that these walls are 10 meters long because the actual the actual square meters is quite low. Um, uh, I'm going to add some more walls uh, just as an example in this example. So the 240 square meters now. We'll just leave the other stuff as it is. So we've got 200, just under 260 square meters. Okay, so it says still, still stays the same. So the base coat is 12, 16, 16 liters a square meter. So that means that we need 20 liters of um, base coat, pretty much, bang on. Okay, and we need 15 liters of second coat and 15 liters of the third coat. So um, what, that, what that brings down here is we will need two tins of 10 liters and two tins of so basically two tins of everything there so that gives you these here figures um so two times 143 two times 214 and two times um say 214 as well so then the actual cost of doing that painting is 1142 uh, <clears throat> so that means the cost of the paint uh, cost per square meter is the area divided by the cost so that's four dollars eighty-five square meter to paint um, all of this area. So let's just do the ceilings as well. So you see, we've got ten by ten. So we've got three rooms. That's ten by ten. So that make it sort of nice big quantities. Yeah, I'm just going five hundred square meters to paint. Okay, cool. So um, each room is uh, has a cornice as well, which is um, about hundred mil. Okay, so um, well, let's just say 150. 
Okay, so we've got an extra 30 square meters to paint as well. So come all the way down here. A little bit of waste, hem set waste, so that's 538 square meters. So we'll say this is 12, this is 16, this is 16. Um, we're getting it again in 10 litre tins. Uh, we've done 143, 214, 214. Okay, so that means to paint the ceiling cost per square meter is $4.58. So it's quite straightforward. So, uh, so sometimes with um, ceiling paint, it might be different to the wall paint, um, depending on color um, and the actual type of specification of the paint. So I've just, I've just used these numbers here as, as an example, um, and you just have to check the square meters as well. Um, generally, these are fairly close to what it should be. Um, okay, so doors and architectures. Okay, so for instance, if you have a door, um, your door is two meters um, high, and say about nine to five wide, and the door is 40 mil thick. Okay, um, say so let's say we've got like five doors like that, or say five doors like that. Okay, and then our arc troops as well. Um, so I'll actually add in the formula for that, which is that plus that plus that into this. Um, and our arc trip is uh, say 0.25 wide. Um, That gives us another eight square meters of paint to do. Um, they basically just, I'm basing this on a timber door and a timber architrave. Um, so again, we come down here, so a little bit of waste. So let's just say this one here um, is, uh, the coverage is five, and this one is, uh, say, 10, this one is 10. I'm gonna buy this in, um, say, uh, I think five little tins. Yeah, five minutes easier. Um, okay, cool. So we uh, need two tins of five liters. Okay, one of 10 liters and a 13 is one as well. Okay, so let's just say, for instance, this one is 50, this one is 75, this one is 75. Okay, cool. So that means that it's going to cost you $6.91 to paint your doors and door frames. Based on those quantities, um, skirtings. So let's just say in a room we have our uh, skirtings are. Um, you can either do um, like a full perimeter, which will be uh, ten plus ten plus ten plus ten. So each wall is ten linear meters. So it's forty linear meters as a perimeter. Or you can just go ten, ten, ten. Um, just depends on what you want to do. We just leave that there for now. So say there are 100 high, 100 high, 100 high, so we have four square meters of that. Okay, again, um, we'll just pretend that they're, they're timber, so we'll say that it's the same paint and the same cost, so five, five, five. Okay, so 50, 75, 75. Okay, so it's going to cost you fifty dollars a square meter to paint that. But you're probably going to get actually get out smaller tins. Say one, one, and one, and those tins will actually be quite cheap. So say say twenty-five, thirty-five, thirty-five. Okay, um, and then the last thing is a fence and gates. So you say if you've got a ten meter fence and it's three meters high, and you've got to paint both sides. Okay, so um, let's just put like three or four of these in. Um, so this one's five, this one's nine, this one's eight meters. Okay, and you've got gates. So a gate is two meters high, one meter wide, and you're painting both sides. If you're only painting one side, just hit one. So say for instance, you're only painting one side of the fence, might be your own fence, and um, you can just put that in. Let's say we've got um, five gates in there. Okay, cool. So. Uh, Again, 10 percent waste, um, and you might only be putting on, say, um, one coat here. So you can just say um, that's 10 liters for that. Uh, oh, sorry, uh, 10, yeah, 10 square meters for that. Um, and then there's no base coat, there's no second coat. It's just a top coat that you're putting on, um, and then that will end uh, 10. The cost is say 150 bucks a tin. Okay, cool. So then that means you need two tins at 150 bucks. That's 
and um, the cost is the cost per square meter is two dollars eighty three, and um, and that's 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 pretty much it. That should um, calculate a lot of your paint uh, uh, costs and everything like that. Um, so you can just sort of see that all down there, um, and it works out quite nicely for you. Obviously, it doesn't take into account any finishing, um, like filler and prepping the walls and stuff like that. Um, so it's basically just like a new build um, paint, but you can use it for um, renovations or any type of thing like that that you uh, that you might be doing, like DIY projects and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, thanks very much. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that. Leave a comment down in the boxes below. And um, yeah, thank you very much. Bye.